Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Saturday, August 25th. And we are continuing to work with uh, the Bagua. So for some reason, it really, uh, it must really make sense to a lot of you that you cannot just work on one aspect of your life. The Bagua allows us to work on all aspects of our life and and I get that a lot of you understand that we can't just take one thing apart so for all those of you who are new to to me and my work uh, if you've been following me for the last month or so I started doing these calls on Aligning the Bagua. A Bagua is an eight sided figure that actually contains the nine sectors of your life. So it's a spatial and energetic representation of all different areas of your life. So Today is a really exciting topic, which one of you who wrote in to me asked for, and that's to align all sectors of Obagwa with the energy of love and self-acceptance so that it's easier for you to create the life you want. And, and I guess you all understand that it's not enough to rewire our subconscious to believe in ourselves and rewire our subconscious mind to love ourselves. We need this energy flow to be in all parts of our life because we are always interacting with other people. We are not just a single actor in the stage of life. In the stage of life, we have an audience, we have other cast members, we have the director, we have so many uh, players and forces to contend with in, in the play of our lives, right? So I think this is why working with the Bagua as a way to represent and see and we adjust the energy flow of our lives makes sense. So as usual, I'm going to begin now. And thank you all for joining me. And I will have you all simply take a breath and connect with your heart. Whew. And I want to create a counterclockwise vortex of energy in this whole entire energy field of us and just delete anything in the energy field that no longer belongs to us. Anything that is not of love and light, we're going to release. Oh, and the energy is already coming down pretty strong because I'm yawning. <laughs> so we're going to just connect with all our guides and angels and just connect with loving beings who surround us and bless these sessions for all of you who are on Facebook Live now. And for all of you who will be joining us on the replay, welcome, welcome. All I'm doing right now is just clearing the energy field for us to do this work so that only that, which is the best and highest, will come through for all of you, for all of us. And together, we will co-create what you choose. And, and today's topic is to attune and align your Bagua with love and self-acceptance. And I want to give credit to the person who wrote in to me. So, so someone who subscribes to my work wrote in to me, and I'm so grateful for those of you who subscribe to my newsletter and write in to me asking for what you really want because I really respond 
to those requests or I try to respond the best way I can to all your requests so that I am able to do work that is meaningful to you and this is uh, one of them so yeah oh my god I love the energy that's coming through and so the first sector of a bar goal is career life purpose and obviously I'm not gonna be able to help each and every one of you to identify that for you but I'm gonna clear the way for you to be able to really hold that space for yourself because uh, you know what feels right to you so you know what your life path is and we're going to clear any subconscious blocks to you all being able to be in alignment be attuned to your your purpose your life path <sighs> and anything that keeps you from really owning and accepting and feeling deserving deserving that you deserve to know to be able to perceive and receive your your path your purpose your calling right so anything that blocks you from being able to receive and perceive and really know your purpose your calling your highest dream we're going to just release that oh And as we are coming into resonance with loving ourselves, loving who we are at this moment, and really accept what we're at at this moment. We can allow ourselves to really feel what is our deepest calling, right? That's for many people, that is just a soft whisper of a new possibility. So allow yourself to listen to that soft whisper of possibilities and go for that which really expands your heart, right? Your calling. You're not ever going to feel, from everyone I talk to, you're never going to feel ready to be called. You're never going to feel ready for your big vision. You're never going to feel ready for what will change your life dynamically. So your calling, or in your calling, or your vision, or your purpose, that is going to really uplift you. And you are not going to feel like, oh, yeah, I'm going to answer my calling now. No, no, no. <laughs> you're going to get excited and you're going to get a little scared because you got to expand beyond where you are. <laughs> so accept that you're never ready because <laughs> we're never ready. And, um, and as very powerful beings, you're the only one who can get in your own way, right? So all the distractions and all the distractor implants you're using to keep yourself from fully embracing the real vision for you, for your life, let's release all those distractions, those distractor implants. Fear is one of big, big, big distractor, right? Not feeling worthy is one of them too. Oh, not feeling deserving, all that may distract you from really embracing a full life that allows you to see, perceive, and really own and know your vision, your calling, your dream. Whatever word you use uh, is fine, but you get the gist of it. It's like you are on this quest. In the journey of your life, you are on your own heroic quest, and only you know what your journey is about. So if we think of life path, life purpose, and calling, 
as the journey that you're on, what can you acknowledge for you as your calling? What can you acknowledge for you as your vision? And any distractions, any blocks to acknowledge in who you are, the hero that you are on your path. We're going to release all that. And anything that keeps you from choosing a way of life, a path, a career that's uh, that will bring you so much joy, anything that keeps you from choosing from a place of joy, from a place of knowing that you so deserve it. We're going to release any blocks to that now. <sighs> Yeah, release all those blocks that keep you from really owning your own journey, acknowledging the powerful being that you are, and any other issues that distract you from owning your journey, your life purpose. We're going to release that anything that keeps you from being the hero of your own journey. We're going to release all that. <sighs> so as the hero of your life, you know what your journey is about. Right? You know what your calling is about. You know what your vision is about. So own that and we're going to align that with so much love self-love and acceptance of where you are now because where you are now will bring you to where you like to be so really just accept who you are where you are however you are accept that in this given moment everything is perfect everything that you are is perfect Everything that you have achieved so far is perfect. Even all the distractions and destructor implants you bought into, it's all perfect too because sometimes we need to know where we're stuck in order to get unstuck, right? Sometimes we need to know how we self-sabotage ourselves to know how powerful we are. Right, so what if it's all preparing you perfectly for who you are here to be in life? Yeah, and really own that. Whew. Good, 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 good. So. We're going to just align with and attune your first Bagua now to love, self-love, self-acceptance. And really come into your heart and know that who you are, where you are, everything that you are, even what you call your mistakes, your downfall, your blocks, love, all that because that's what's required for your journey and your higher self knows what's required for your journey so embrace even all the little distractions because it allows you to see how powerful a creator you are how powerful your mind is right so it's not about any fears, it's just you being the hero of your journey, creating what you need to respond to that moment so that you can move into the next moment with choice, and choice is power. And with power, there's a deep knowing and when you have that deep knowing and faith, taking action is a piece of cake. Yeah.
and you know that now. <laughs> yeah, you always knew that. You always knew that. Absolutely. Yeah. So own your knowing. And love all the ways you distract yourself because that's how you can see how powerful you are. And then you can choose whether to use your creativity to distract yourself or use your creativity to move forward. So let's bring in so much love and compassion for who you are that now you can make a choice that allows you to be closer and closer to your true calling, to your real vision, to your bigger vision for your whole life. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and the energy is shifting dynamically for you all, and I feel that shift in all your energies. So it's all perfect. It's all beautiful, and we are only on our first bar goal right now. So let me just move into our second bar goal, which is marriage, relationships, and partnerships. And that Bagua is part of the earth element. So when we have our vision, right, we can just allow ourselves to really be that in the community that we're in, in the relationships that we're in. So it's helpful then to bring lots of love into the second sector of Obagwa, which is community and relationships, so that we are surrounded by people who love us and accept us just the way we are. <sighs> and if there are tough relationships, in your life or in the community that you're in that's holding you back, right? Just take a moment to see what your contribution is. And that's not about blaming yourself. We all need each other to create our lives. So, in all the subconscious ways, we are us using difficult relationships as a way to stop us. Let's just bring lots of love in to the part of our lives and allow ourselves to gently disentangle from any relationship that no longer serves our best and highest. And every spiritual teacher, every teacher, every coach has said, at one point or another, that if you want to be a big success in life or you want to have more positive energy, you're going to surround yourself with people who love and support you. And of course, it all begins within you. And as you bring in more love and self-acceptance, that's going to be reflected in your community and in your relationships, right? So yeah, so let's just disentangle from the old ways of doing relationships for those of you who may have issues in this sector of your Bagua, the relationship sector. Let's disentangle from any energy that is not love and acceptance and support. <sighs> I guess I have something to do to <laughs> disentangle from any and all relationships that no longer support your highest and bring in some love and self-respect, right? Because if you respect who you are, you are going to be less likely to put yourself in relationships that are not supportive of you. So let's bring that in. Oh. 
So if you create the second sector of your Bagua, the relationship sector, from a place of love, from a place of total honoring of who you are, from a place of self-acceptance, what will that sector of your life look like? Oh, yeah, let's be in resonance, vibrational resonance with choosing self-honor, love, self-acceptance. Yeah, so we're going to bring in those energies to the second sector of Obagua. Yeah. <sighs> and since the second sector of the Bagua is related to the element of earth, I'm going to connect to the meridians, the energy meridians that are the earth meridians, and that's stomach and spleen. So I'm going to stomach and spleen so bring loving energy to your stomach and spleen and bring in loving energy to <sighs> the second bagua of relationship and community <sighs> wonderful so now let us move on to the third Bagua, the third sector of our Bagua, and that would be the sector for family, community, and health, right? So that's the bigger community. We just work on the intimate relationship, and now we're ready to work on the bigger community of you, the bigger family of you, and this is perfect. Bring in lot the energy of love and self acceptance, and notice where you are choosing for you that supports you, and where you are choosing against yourself. Right. So, look at all your relationships. Which ones really support you? And let's bring in more of the energy of that love and support. <sighs> and as this is part of the root element, which is liver and gallbladder, we're going to just bring in more love and energy to the liver and gallbladder meridian. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> and doing these Facebook lives, you all get to see how I react. <laughs> I'm yawning. <laughs> yeah. And so as we are connected to this place today, all of a sudden I'm getting that I, I'm going to do this activation for all of you on this call. And that is to activate your energies to be able to hold that energy that allows you to catalyze and create a shift in the whole entire field of consciousness. So you all have heard of the feel, the feel factor, the feel effect. Um, I think Lynn McTagger wrote a wonderful book called The Feel, and it's about um, how our collective energy, our collective consciousness can shift the consciousness of the whole. And the equation for figuring out the number of people that's required 
to catalyze a shift in the consciousness of a whole population is the square root of 1% of the whole population. So the square root of 7 billion, which is roughly the population of a planet right now, so the square root of 1% of 7 billion is 8,367. That is when 8,367 people, or we could round it off to 9,000 or 10,000 people, are able to come together and create a shift in consciousness, the whole population will be able to feel this shift. And some of you may look at it another way. I know that there's the hundredth monkey effect, you know, but I really like uh, the feel effect. So as we're working on this sector of the larger family and community, I'm going to invite you to look at it in an in a even a bigger way. So not just your community and your family, because so many of you on this uh, Facebook Live in, in the, who listen to me on replays, so many of you are awesome, awesome, powerful, wonderful healers already, and you are joining me because you feel called to not only heal yourself, but also to contribute to the expansion of consciousness on the planet. So in just a moment, I'm gonna ask for guys and angels to surround all of us so that each and every one of you will get this, the feel effect activation. That is, you become the energy of the whole field of consciousness, you become the 8,367 people that's required to create a massive shift in the consciousness of humanity, right? So it's not just about the number, but it's about the vibration. The higher your vibration, the more people you're able to affect through your own energy. So what if each and every one of you on the replay and on this Facebook Live becomes that deal effect, becomes the 8,367 people required to create a massive shift in consciousness. And if we are all embodying the energy of love, kindness, self-acceptance, compassion, then we are all in that space of being able to shift the mass consciousness of the planet right now. So let's do that. And with the help of all of our guides and angels, 144,000 light warriors and light beings, And connecting us all to Mother Earth, to all the gemstones and minerals that support us, to all the beautiful flowers and flower essence, to all the beautiful trees, tree essence, to all the beautiful creations of this planet that support us. Let's connect us to all those beautiful energy from Mother Earth. And now... Feel it shifting your first, second, third, fourth chakras. I really bring that in. And now we're going to shift also the energy of the higher chakras by connecting to the cosmos. For those of you who are from Arcturus or the Pleiades or the Syrians, we're going to connect to all those different galaxies and star systems that have very expanded consciousness to contribute to us. So take a moment to receive that now. Oh. And now that your energy field is getting stronger and stronger, 
We're going to connect us to the field, the space, and consciousness of miracles. And connecting us all to the field and space and consciousness of all ascended masters. So you connect with the ascended master within you. <sighs> and now from that space of being one with the ascended master within, We can all be in alignment with being that whole feel of consciousness that really shifts the consciousness of all humanity. And just from your own heart, feel this infinite flow of love from above, love from Mother Earth, and feel this energy circulating around the entire planet. Feel this love, feeling all the oceans, all the marine life. Feeling all the water, every water molecule on the planet. Allow every molecule on the planet to receive this loving vibration from all of us. so that all the water molecules within us and all the water, water molecules on the planet will carry this vibration of love. And connecting to all the animals. And sending them love. And now connecting to all the people on the planet. Oh. Oh, yes, you are all amazingly powerful people. And no wonder you're called to join this call today, right? So we can shift the energy of this whole planet just a little bit at a time so that we're all in vibration with the energy of love. So we're just sending loving energy to the whole planet. As you embody the energy of the entire field of consciousness, and shifting it, we're always coming back to our heart and allow our heart to expand in such a way that from our heart, we connect to all hearts with love. And as you are all carrying this amazing energy that shifts the energy of the entire field, you get a sense of what it is for you to embody infinite potential, really embody the infinite love, grace, infinite possibility of just being you, right? Stay in this energy and continue to allow this love flowing through your heart to change the vibration of the entire planet. Feeling all the marine life receiving our loving energy even activating the right kinds of bacteria in the ocean to help keep the ocean clean, right? Because that's just like activating um, the good bacteria in our own guts. We got to activate this good bacteria also 
for planet Earth. So, and I count to three. Let's send all this to Mother Earth. One, two, three. And let's do that again. And this time, send it to Mother Earth to awaken more of the good bacteria that will keep our rivers clean, keep our oceans clean, keep our oceans clean, not only for the marine life, but water is essential to all life. So let's do that again, sending love to Mother Earth. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. And that's really wonderful. So you're all getting a sense of what it is to embody so much energy, so much potential, which is so lovely. I mean, what a gift. What a gift. So I'm going to now shift to the fourth Bagua, which is our wealth, prosperity, uh, sector and that is still the part of the element of wood i'm just looking at my notes okay the element wood so we're still working with the visionary in us right the wood element is the archetypal energy of the visionary within us that's our uh, liver and gallbladder marine and ah, uh, I know you're sending me hearts and <laughs> thumbs up because wealth, right? So now that you embody this energy of the entire field, how much love can you bring to this fourth bagua, the fourth sector of your bagua to shift the entire energy so that love itself self-acceptance self-respect will bring you so much wealth right because wealth is not just money someone said wealth is who you are when you lose everything so i think we're talking about the intangible right Loving relationships that support you. Having a vision that really supports you. Having a way to create a livelihood that really supports you. So regardless of like, the losses, you still know the wealth within you that's going to be reflected in the environment around you. So bring in that wealth inside and acknowledge the amount of power you have to create your life. The infinite resources you have to create your life, right? It's those infinite resources that allow you to enjoy a whole wealth of possibilities in the world. So let's bring in this energy of love into this fourth sector of Obagwa, which is a wealth sector, and that so relates to self-esteem. And with all the energy of the entire field, of the entire universe, we can bring in that energy to shift whatever needs to be shifted in this fourth Bagua so that, oh, yes, we are doing this together, shifting this aspect of your Bagua so that you get to enjoy 
an overflow of finance, an overflow of wealth, just all the abundance that brings you joy. So bring that in. <sighs> yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. So own that infinite supply of wealth within you. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And so much love in the Bagua, the fourth sector of your Bagua. Wonderful. So let me see here. The fifth. Ah, wonderful. The fifth sector of a Bagua now is good fortune. It's the center of the Bagua. And good fortune also means health, right? Good fortune, I know that. Um, part of the earth element and sometimes we use the color gold so the earth element we're going back to nurturing energy and the energy of a stomach and spleen meridian so let's bring lots of loving energy to the spleen and stomach meridian and let that be in resonance with love and so for many of you who um, have problems receiving love and receiving who you really are, I'm actually going to do a quick family constellation to reconstellate the order of love in your life so that receiving love is much easier for some of you especially those of you who are joining me for the first time you may not have had uh, family constellation work and you may require that right so let's access for everyone on this call a family constellation with an order of love that allows you to really receive you and receive love and anything that is not in alignment will receive in you with love, deep respect, and receiving and honoring the amazing gift that you are and hold you, the being of you, in deep reverence. Anything that is contrary to that or anything that blocks you from receiving that, we're going to release. <sighs> And let's bring in this energy of having a deep reverence for the being that is you. Having a deep reverence for the sacredness of your being, for the sacredness of your life, and the sacredness of your calling and your vision. So bring all that in now. <sighs> and this part with, you know, the family constellation and the order of love, some of you may need to watch this part in the replay again. But I'm going to do this again one more time to bring in the energy of respect for your life respect for your being respect for the sacredness of your life your being your calling your vision and really embrace that and we see that oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we're 
shifting that order of love and your family constellations for all of you on the call, all of you listening on the replay. Here we go. Oh. So let this sector of your Bagua and let every sector of your Bagua be filled with this energy of having deep respect and total reverence for the sacredness of you, your being, your life, your vision, your calling. Oh. <sighs> yeah, okay. Now this sector in your Bagua is feeling better and better. Excellent. Wonderful. Right? This is the center of your Bagua. So let's see what the sixth sector is. Da, 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 da. Ah, helpful people and mentors and travel. So the sixth sector is easy and it's aligning you with helpful people. It's also about travel and spiritual guidance, which all of you on this call and all of you tuning in on the replay, you all have that already. So bringing in more love and appreciation for all the people who support us, for all the mentors, all the spirit guides. Yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Yeah, so this Bagua is always so easy to work with especially with all of you who do energy healing because you already have loving, loving guides and spiritual beings supporting you. And let's bring lots of love and blessings for all your travel plans, right? And I guess travel also includes vehicles, right? So at the time that the Bagua was created, travel, what does that mean? going to places so what's required for you to go to places have a vision right have some money have a vehicle whether it's a car the private jet your own boat your own yacht <laughs> if you have your own yacht where you invite us <laughs> yeah so you need a vehicle for travel let's plus all of you to find the perfect vehicle for your travel, whatever that may be, or multiple vehicles, you know, whatever feels right for you. Oh. Yeah, there we go. That is good for that, Bagua. So now the seventh, okay, the seventh sector is children and creativity. So what you want to create and the legacy, it kind of is related to legacy when you think about it because what you create in the world, you want the change in the world. And children, yeah, let's bring lots of love loving energy to this sector of your Bagua so that you really can tune into your own creativity, your children, and even your inner child. Because sometimes we need to heal our inner child as well as the children in our lives and the creative projects in our lives. So let's just bring all that loving energy in. Oh. Oh. 
<sighs> and any subconscious blocks to accessing your creative potential. Let's release any and all subconscious blocks. Any blocks from all lifetimes. <sighs> Yeah, because all the work that we did in the beginning, that energy is flowing throughout all the sectors already. So towards the end of the call, everything just goes faster because everything we did in the beginning was so powerful that it just moved every piece, every sector of your body already. If you're feeling that, you know, I think that if you're tuning in, you really know this is happening. Oh, oh, good, great. So now, seventh Bagua. Okay, the eighth Bagua is. Let's see, seven. Oh yes, wisdom and knowledge and rest. Right, wisdom, knowledge, and rest. So, bring more love into this. Actually, let's see. What would be helpful to help you embrace all the wisdom that you have from all lifetimes? So, let's connect to who you are in all lifetimes and bring in all that wisdom. And for a lot of you who are light workers, who are a phenomenal catalyst for transformation, you need to bring in your wisdom to the world, right? So let's bless all of you with lots of love and light and allow you to just feel so powerful and so kind of good with being the awesome person that you are. And it's now the time for you to share all your wisdom, all your knowing from our lifetimes. Oh. And any subconscious blocks to that we're going to release to the light now. And really embrace all the deep wisdom that you have from our lifetimes. So let's bring that in. Oh. And love, bring in so much love and acceptance so you can love, really love and accept that you are this amazing being who has been here for so many lifetimes and that now is the time for you to bring in all the wisdom, all the knowing, all the expanded consciousness techniques and technology that you know. And just be that in the world and love who you are being in this world now. Because it's the vibration that you be that shifts everything in this world, right? Yeah. Wonderful, yeah. Great. And now bringing us to our final sector, which is fame, a reputation in the world. And so if you are in vibrational resonance with love, loving who you are, and bringing in so much love to this sector of your life, fame and reputation and your social life. Uh, yeah, what would this feel like? So this Bagua is related to the element fire and the fire element in our body is represented by uh, four meridians, heart, 
small intestine, pericardium, and triple burner. So we're going to bring these four meridians in and just let it be in alignment with the energy of love. <sighs> and any blocks, any subconscious blocks, any hidden loyalties to anyone that keeps you from loving who you are, from accepting who you are, we're going to release all that through our times, our space, all dimensions, and all realities. Oh. So what if the reputation of you in the world is that of love? That create more in your life. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And now we're going to just connect to our inner child and our higher self and just feel that flow of love from our heart to our inner child to our higher self. And flow this loving energy to anyone in the world, including all the children who are separated from the parents now. We're going to send them lots of love and loving energy to support them on their journey. And see all the children becoming strong and powerful in their own way so that they have what it takes to handle. They have more than what it takes to be the heroes of their journey, right? Yeah. And see them feel this love. Yeah. And now again, as we're connected to that ascended master, we're then connected to the energy space and consciousness of the field of miracles and the field of all ascended masters. We're going to just send a wave of love to everyone on the call. And send a wave of love to everyone on the replay. And now send a wave of love around the whole planet. Yeah. And bless all of you and every sector of your Bagua with so much love and deep transformations. Oh. Oh. Yes. And thank you all for joining me today. And let all that we've done together 
bless all of you, bless your life with so much love, and bless all those you touch, all those you connect with, all those you work with. May everyone be blessed with lots of love, and light, and laughter, and joy. And thank you all so much for all the group work that we did. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, let this love keep on circulating around the whole planet. Mm -hmm. All right, then the we play should be up sometime today. And many, many blessings to everybody. <laughs>